I'm going to get to the nitty-gritty, just start right off. Um, you know, Walter is only as good as his supporting cast. And you guys, a little further into the series, or beginning of the series, we get to see your kind of dark-seated past. Do you think, though, that your characters would be different if you never met Walter? No, see, I think character comes very early in life, but it's true that your experiences shape them. Um, I think my character, Rosalie, who has been with Walter for 20 years mm. in a very symbiotic relationship, but he probably needs her more than she needs him. Um, although that's debatable. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I think... Uh, I think certainly her life has been hugely influenced by being a part of Walter's life, yeah. But she's a very well-rounded, complex woman. She's got a lot going on. Yeah. I think Walter Blunt uh, is Harry's raison d'etre, definitely. Um, he'd be... He'd be... He'd be in his grave. He'd have no liver, mm. I think. Um, oh, oh. <laughs> if there wasn't a Walter there to look after, yeah. You discover quite late on in the series that, that there's a flashback that goes back to the Falklands okay. War where you kind of find out why the two of them are so inextricably linked, which is quite quite interesting, which I'm not going to give away. No, no, um, by all means, don't. But, uh, it's very moving. Yeah, yeah. Well, that's, that's the thing, you know, Walter is definitely kind of on a moral seesaw, but he's not a bad guy whatsoever, but he obviously, he's a surrogate mother. Yeah, well, she has been his lover in the past, mm -hmm. but, um, but yeah, he, he does depend on her the way a younger man, a, a less mature man, not that he's that mature, Walter, at times. <laughs> no. um, yeah, there is a, a maternal aspect. Yeah. I mean, though, but joining up for this, do you see, you know, do you like, get to see a script and go, oh, Rosalie Spoon's Walter, sign me up, I'm done. That's all I need. Spoon Patrick Stewart. <laughs> well, um, that can I'd already said yes to Jonathan <laughs> Ames when, when I got that script, but I would have um, anyway. I think it's so daring and, and sort of weird and off-center that um, it's something I really relish. Same with you, you said that... Well, I got whipped Sir Patrick Stewart <laughs> with a wet towel, yeah. so uh, it was a given, really. You also get a little Inspector Clouseau Cato kind of throwback there with them. Well, there's a little homage in there, <laughs> definitely, yeah, where our samurai swords come out and we chase each other around tables, yeah. And now, I mean, both of you, but Adrian knows well, you, you've done a lot of television before, but we're in this revolution right now where it's just becoming the mainstay. Is it, have you seen it change over the years? Gosh, yes. Oh, yeah, definitely. Well, in England as well. Um, yeah, I mean, there's just so much more television being made yeah. and so much more interesting television being made. It's not just sort of costume dramas now, like I'm going on to a comedy uh, for, for E4, which is very, very low budget and all shot on lots of wacky handheld camera stuff. Um, for great fun and very, very interesting and a total contrast to something like Blunt Talk where, you know, there's decent money behind yeah. it and time to make the sets really look amazing and filmic. And but I think the quality and standard of television has just gone going through the roof at the moment. It's amazing. Well, we're also like, I think the main, m mainstream culture is now getting used to the idea of like a showrunner. Do you feel that like it's easy to go to Jonathan compared to director when you need kind of some guidance for the character? Well, especially someone like Jonathan. Mind you, we've had some great Gosh, directors. We've got such an amazing team. Yes, we? and Tristram Shapiro too mm -hmm. is um, the producer as well as directed several episodes, and he's great. I don't think I've ever known such collaboration actually on the, on anything as this. Everybody seems to. See eye to eye, unless they hide quarrels behind us. Yeah, the chemistry is, is fits remarkably well. 